Recently, my colleague Jackie Chicarico and I went to the New Jersey Sharing Network 5K. It's a great event. It's an inspiring event. At the event, Jackie and I spoke to a whole range of people involved in organ and tissue donation, but one person in particular that you're going to want to meet is uh, Lori. Jackie interviewed Lori. Now, Lori, uh, Lori's son, Tyler, I believe he was 21, passed away in 2019. Tyler was an organ donor, gave the gift of life to three people, um, gave them that gift of life. They are here because of Tyler. And also, countless other lives were impacted by Tyler's gift to them. Jackie talks with Lori, a compelling, important conversation about organ and tissue donation. I'm Jackie Tricarico on location at the New Jersey Sharing Network's 5K here in New Providence, New Jersey. And I am so honored to be joined by Lori Rodimer, who is the mother of Tyler, who gave the gift of life. Sure. Lori, thank you so much for talking with us today. So first, we have to learn about Tyler. Tell us about your son, Tyler. Oh, he was a great kid. He, um, he was 22. He had just graduated uh, the prior year from East Strasburg University and had a great career in uh, criminal justice. And he worked for a Hudson Farm Club, which was an outdoor sportsman's club. And he was kind of working his way into being there full, well, he was there full time, but he was, he was kind of gonna get a career there. And it would have been beautiful because he wouldn't have had to work a day in his life. He, he, he just he loved, loved being outside. Yeah, great kid. He was an Eagle Scout, um, only child, great kid. <laughs> love of your life. Yeah, love of my life. And in 2019, the a parents were, as a mother, a parent's worst nightmare worst happened nightmare. to you yes. and your husband. Yes. Talk about that day. Yeah, I was in bed actually. And he, you know, he got up early that morning. He gets up early every morning to go to work and, um, you know, was with his father in the morning having their coffee and off they went. Um, I got a call from him, one of his buddies and I thought, you know, good morning, Brody, what are you doing? And, and you know, he said, you know, Mrs. Rodimer, he said Tyler had an accident. And when he told me they were airlifting him to Morristown, I thought, oh my God. I said, and my, my immediate reaction was his head. And sure enough, it was. Um, so it was a horrible day. Um, didn't know if he'd make it through the night. And that dear boy, he lasted two, two months in the ICU, many surgeries. Um, you know, we always had hope that everything would turn out. And, you know, one day, actually it was on his birthday, March 4th. Uh, one of the doctors came in and he said, you know, Tyler may never wake up. We're like, you know, are you kidding me? So, you know, there's a lot of painstaking conversations with doctors and, you know, clergy and your family and, you know, what do you do? But the bottom line was, you know, he would not have wanted to live the way he was living. So, you know, it was a terrible decision for a parent to make, but, yeah. you know, it was yeah. one we had to make. And. And during that time, when were you approached about organ and tissue donation? Because what I know is that he did check that box on his he license, did and you didn't box. even remember that or think about I that. I really didn't. Yeah. Um, it, actually, that was a horrible thing too. You know, there was a new doctor, part of the trauma team, and he came in one day and asked me if I had been approached by the Sharing Network. And of course, as a mother, I didn't know what the Sharing Network was. And then, you know, of course, the light bulb goes off saying, oh my gosh, do you mean organ donation? And he said, yes. And I thought, are we there now? Like, is that where we're at? And um, a nurse came in that night in her street clothes and, you know, tried to make it right. And she said, this is not how we operate. And from that point on, I mean, I was all over it. I mean, the Sharing Network had been so supportive and, you know, anything we needed and uh, they were great. They were really great. Knowing that Tyler had made that selfless decision yeah, in high all school. those years ago yeah. in high school, yeah. how did that make you feel? Did it make it a little, just like that little bit easier it for did. you to move forward with his wishes? It did. For me, it did. For my husband, it did not. Yeah. He struggled with it. My husband was not an organ donor on his license. Okay. I was. Um, and actually, when Tyler came home from high school, he said to me, you know, and uh, they were doing their um, driver's ed. And he said, you know, well, are you an organ donor, mom? And I said, I am. And he said, what about that? I said, no, I don't think he is. And he asked him and he wasn't. And I said, so it really, it's your choice. You decide what's right for you. You know what? It's a beautiful decision to make. And 
you know, as a parent, we could have chosen not to do it, but it was just an easy, it was easy, you know, help somebody out. Talk, talk about who he helped. Who oh my did gosh. He, help? <laughs> <laughs> he helped two women with his kidney donation, both kidneys, and uh, a man with his liver. And then since then, we found out that he helped two people with um, genetic disorders with his heart valves and 16 women with his skin donation, uh, 12 of them women with mastectomies that needed skin to heal. That's just beautiful. It's, it, it's a beautiful legacy he left for me, you know, to honor. I, I, you know, when you're in this terrible group of people that lose their children, which I am, a lot of people don't have a beautiful story, and I do. Uh, you know, I, I have a legacy to honor, and I do this every year, and the, the, some of those people come, and they, it's just, it's awesome. And the New Jersey Sharing Network has become a family, family to for me. you. Oh, yeah, sure. there's been a lot of ups and downs over the past oh, couple of years. Describe sure. that and just how important they've been in your life. You know what? I, I, you, you try to make something good out of a tragedy, and they're there to help you do that. And they hold your hand, and I didn't even know what the walk was. Somebody, you know, we came two weeks, uh, I, no, two months after Tyler died to the first walk. I think there was 10 of us. And after that, it was like all in. Because <laughs> these people, were, they're just the most beautiful people you'll ever meet. Um, they're genuine, they'll, they'll do anything for you, and they're so supportive of your mission and your, and your, your journey, really, because it's a grief journey, it doesn't ever end. You know, you remember yeah. them every day, and you know, I'm able to talk about organ donation every day to everybody. You know, I talk about him, and, and that's part of my story. So it's awareness, and it's a beautiful story to share. Yeah, and it, so you said 10 people on that first walk. How many now? It's Tyler's okay. tight lines, Tyler's and I know you're My up there at the was, top. <laughs> he was a fly fisherman, which yes. is where the tight lines beautiful. came from. His buddies came up with the name the first year because I didn't know. And um, I think this year we have over 100 people. I think we're one of the biggest teams this year. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw you third or fourth on that yes. line on the website. Yes, <laughs> and you know, we're pretty up there in the rankings for how much money we've made, which is awesome. Yeah, how does that make you feel and, yeah. and your family and friends? It shocks me every year. Cause you know, the first year we made, you know, $2,000 and the next year we did, you know, maybe eight. And then we went to 13. I'm like, I'm never gonna get past that. This year we have over $24,000. Like That's it's just amazing. mind boggling to me. It's That's incredible. Yeah. Lastly, I know that recently you did get in touch with one of the families, one of the gentlemen that received one of Tyler's organs. Talk about that process, what that was like for you, and if you feel ready to be able to talk and meet that person, because yeah. I know it's different for every family and every yeah. person who's going through this grief journey. So when we originally, we originally wrote letters to all three of the recipients and heard back from two, the two women from the kidneys, and they were kind of generic, uh, letters. They were, you know, blessed that Tyler did what he did, but I think they were overwhelmed by it too, I think. Um, and never heard from the liver recipient. And then all of a sudden, actually, I went to Pasadena to celebrate Tyler on the float, the, the Donate oh, Life yes. float this mm -hmm. year. And when I came back, one of the people from the Sharing Network called me and she said, You're not going to believe it, but you got the, a letter from the liver recipient. And it was a gentleman that I think he said he was 72 when he got the liver. Or, yeah, the liver, and he was 78 now, and he said he has, I think, seven kids and 25 grandkids. Oh, and yeah. since he got the liver, he got to see, I think, three or four of his grandchildren born. And he said if it wasn't for Tyler, he wouldn't have been here to do that. And I just think that's, oh my gosh, I want to meet them so bad. Yeah. So it's my turn now to write a letter to them and, okay. and express that, and I'm going to do that. I just haven't had a chance. <laughs> yeah, no, that's incredible. And I, yeah. I, I look forward to hearing about it from you and that experience with, with meeting I'm him. I'm sure that'll be a very emotional day. Of but, course, but of course. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm so glad that we can use this moment to celebrate Tyler and his amazing selfless gift oh, thank you. to so many people that he touched, that he saved yeah. their lives and, and helped in their journeys and their health journeys. So thank you so much for speaking with oh, us you're today. You're welcome, thank you. Think Tank with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the Russell Berry Foundation, Hackensack Meridian Health, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, Valley Bank, the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, NJM Insurance Group, New Jersey Sharing Network, the North Ward Center, and by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by ROINJ and by Meadowlands Media. 
I am alive today thanks to my kidney donor. I am traveling and more active than ever before. I'm alive today thanks to my heart donor. I'm full of energy and back singing in my church choir. I'm alive today thanks to my lung donor. I'm breathing easy and I'm enjoying life's precious moments. There are about 4,000 people in the years who are waiting for a life-saving transplant. Donation needs diversity. For more information or to become an organ and tissue donor, visit njsharingnetwork.org.